Next, look at this Ninja Turtle. Would you have picked this up? Twenty-five dollars he wanted for this. Twenty-five dollars. Uh, twenty. Yep, twenty-five bucks. It was a big turtle. It was a big turtle. <laughs> So we're on our way to the Sunday morning markets. It is 5.30 in the morning. Pepsi, not coffee. So it's 5.30 in the morning, it's five degrees outside and it's starting to sprinkle. So I'm really hoping that the markets are actually fucking on. My goal today is finding toys, finding retro stuff, nostalgia, all that type of jazz. I'm um, hoping we can really score big today. First market that I'm going to is usually always the best. It's gonna be very dark for footage, so I don't know if I have footage or not. I'll try my hardest. The second one, by the time I get to the second one, the market start at six. So I'm gonna be one of those pricks that get there like 15 minutes before it starts and use my torch. I'm gonna be an asshole. That's the way it is. Uh, then I should get to the other one at about, which is an hour away from this one which always usually has a lot of toys and the sun will be up for that one. So uh, that one I should get to at about 7.38, if that one's even on today. Anyway, enough talking shit, let's fucking go. So here we go, a nice freezing cold morning, five degrees. Got the old torch on and we start thrifting. We start thrifting and going for all, scavenging for all this junk at the markets. Uh, very dark, very cold. A lot of dolls, a lot of baby toys today, and a lot of teddies, uh, and a lot of clothes. But um, when you go this early, it's your own fault. It's your own fault if you can't see anything. It's your own fault for getting there so early because uh, some cars haven't unpacked all their shit yet. But um, that's that's the, that's the well, you risk you take when you go early. Uh, sometimes it's a benefit, sometimes it's not. Um, and uh, a lot of DVDs and a few books here and there, but. Um, Found this uh, costume, didn't get it. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, I think it was. Dragon Ball Z costume, left that one, didn't worry about that. Uh, more baby toys, it was all baby toys. I've, I, that's all I've been seeing lately, even in the thrift stores, it's just baby toys. Did find one VHS while I was here, the uh, Outback, uh, I don't know what that was, the Bushman, the Bushman Tales, Bush Tucker Man. Bush Tucker Man, not worth anything. Um, just a bunch of junk and all that. Tell you what, these markets though, uh, females come on down to these markets, the Melville markets. So many racks of clothes for $2 and all that. There's a bunch of Lego there. Um, just extra pieces of Lego for sale. Uh, so many racks of clothes all the time for $2, but I have no idea uh, when I look through the female clothes and uh, I still just uh, haven't got the balls yet to uh, go through all the clothes, uh, women's clothing. Uh, another bunch of junk down here. This woman uh, bloody jumped in front of me. Hate it when people push in front of you and uh, wouldn't mind kicking her over. And uh, yeah, just some more DVDs. It was a bit of a DVD day, really. That was so cold. My hands are so freezing. I found nothing. Usually that is a packed, an absolute packed uh, markets, but half full today I guess because it's gonna rain soon so I'm gonna go back towards my way which is an hour away uh, it's not a big deal and um, hopefully the daylight is upon us when I get there so we can see the uh, footage better because I doubt there was gonna be any footage fingers crossed don't want to have a dog shit day again And here we go, we're at the uh, Rockingham Markets and uh, the toy guy is here, I can see his uh, setup, and just a bunch of baby toys again, there's another ugly pug dog thing. Uh, just a bunch of baby toys, I wasn't impressed. He told me he did not have all of his uh, usual stock there because he usually has a whole heap of wrestling toys and uh, action figures and all that where I've picked up stuff for good prices before. DVDs 50 cents, so I did uh, ravage through them and pick up some goodies uh, to bulk up. But um, I'm very disappointed that uh, a lot of his uh, toys weren't there because it was going to rain. He said he didn't want to bring them all out, and that's very disappointing. I told him it's very disappointing. Usually he has about five different car bays all next to each other. Look at that old video easy uh, 
cover there. I think that's from a machine. And um, yeah, he just didn't, he's only got two bays today. Look at this Ninja Turtle. Would you have picked this up? $25 he wanted for this. $25. Uh, 20, yep, 25 bucks. It was a big turtle. It was a big turtle. I don't know what I could have got for it because I didn't want to look it up while I was at the markets. Uh, I should have offered him 20 or maybe 15. Probably should have got it. I'm actually kicking myself a little bit now that I didn't buy it. So next time I go there, I will get it. Um, he's always got some cool toys though, like this right here. This is an old, bit of a crazy price, but that's an old uh, Ghostbusters figure. That's an old Ghostbusters figure, but uh, for the price that he's asking, uh, uh, no, thank you. Now this I have sold for $45 before, so I'm going to get that. He wanted $8 for that, or $10 to $8 for that. I've got a little bit of a package deal of all these box sets of uh, anime, anime cartoons. But unfortunately, all the toys he had were all these little crud ones today, um, which kind of sucked and was disappointing because I got up early for this. Uh, got nothing from the first door, and now he he lacklustered me. He lacklustered me with the amount of toys that he uh, didn't bring. But you know what? You got to try and. Uh, make do with what you have there and uh, get what you can check that toy out that's pretty freaking cool don't know what series it was from so i was so disappointed uh, usually he's got so many toys and uh just not today so what we're going to do today with him is we're going to try and bulk up as many of those box set dvds that he does have so he ended up having a lot of these uh japanese anime uh, cartoons. I haven't looked these ones up yet. We're going to look them up uh, in show and tell very soon. But um, he had a fair few there. Uh, All together, he wa uh, wanted seventy dollars for them uh, for the six. Lots of box sets I put up on the table here. I uh, offered him fifty. He said fifty-five. Fifty-five was a good deal. So then I went and got some uh, DVDs as well. Uh, that were 50 cents each. There's a uh, Severio Rocker uh, <laughs> AFL uh, little uh, plastic head toy from the 90s. And they were pretty cool. So, did I have the six? Yeah, I got the six, six there. Um, and 55 bucks, I was happy with that. I haven't looked these up. All I know is that one that I have sold before sold for 45. So, if I was getting all those 55. I still had five box sets to play around with, um, and I was only down ten dollars. Um, but then I got the other uh, lot of stuff to lot up as well. As you can see, I'm rubbing my hands because it is freezing, not because of the money I'm about to make. Um, now look at this toy. I I like these little hand game things, but uh, I did not know what that was, so I just left that with him. Uh, wasn't uh, I'm, I'm still I'm still upset that the toys weren't there. We got to do this again. Go back to this place again. But if he's if he's never going to bring the toys because it's going to rain, then you know. Uh, so 50 cents. I got the whole uh, trilogy of the Godfather stuff there. Uh, picked up some games as well. And there was a lot of um, this is an old WWE uh, two pay per views on the one disc there. And I'm going to look that up and see if that's worth anything. I had to grab that for 50 cents. There was a few more that I did find like that as well. Um, while I was looking through there. A few games as well, which I will show you uh, coming up in the show and tell. I needed to find one more to make it $10. I uh, found this Night of the Dead. Uh, as you can see from the cover there, I don't even know if it's worth any money, but uh, surely it is with uh, with a girl with no top on. They usually uh, go pretty good. So uh, while I pay the man, that is it from uh, the markets here. We're going to head over to VHS headquarters, we're going to go to show and tell. Uh, I'm going to look up the prices on comps and see what we're going to make, and we're going to see if we can make Kitty a very, very happy Kitty today. So let's head straight over. Uh, instead of doing this other bit we do usually do, let's head straight over and go straight to the headquarters. All right, guys, I went to the markets this morning, and some asshole told me my hair and my beard, I look like one of the fucking Bee Gees. I don't look like Barry Gibbs. So I picked up all these for 50 cents each. So I spent $10 on all this lot here. There was a few, um, just your normal PlayStation 2 games. And then your basic stuff here. These ones are gonna get lotted in future lots so they won't go in the kitty. But I do have 20 DVDs, 
but I do have a whole heap of DVDs that are worth some more right money. This Alien Anthology will go for 20 bucks, easy. This Godfather Collection box set, 50 cents. This will go for 25 bucks. This is great, this is great bread and butter stuff. This Nirvana one will go for 10 bucks, MTV Unplugged. PlayStation 2 Family Guy, that will go for about 15. Sold this Star Wars one many times for $15. Actually, I've sold it four times this exact DVD. So $15, easy if you ever see this one. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, all three movies, $15. Thank you very much. Never seen this before. World of Warcraft DVD behind the scenes. Uh, Mist of the Pandaria. I don't know this. Um, I had to look this up, but I can get 10 bucks for this, so I'm, I'm happy with that. That's why I grabbed it. Had to grab this. Stag of the Dead. Uh, funny enough, on comps, this will go for $20 sold. Someone's going to buy this. It looks so stupid. But we're going to watch it. Uh, this Metropolis uh, 2 disc. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, what is that? Someone's long hair. It ain't my long hair. Uh, Metropolis, this will go for 20 bucks. This one sells for 20 bucks all day long. Uh, so adding all those up that we... Um, We've got 150 bucks worth of uh, DVDs here that we paid $10 for. Uh, I do got to show you these three though. <laughs> I found these and I thought, oh, you beauty, these are a part of the uh, 50 cents each ones, these WWE ones. There's some pay-per-views on the back. These ones usually go for about 50 bucks each, but it's raw as well. So I didn't even look in there, didn't bother. This person, this is all, uh, all the raw episodes from TV and the pay-per-view uh, for that month, and they've created their own. Um, they've created their own cover. September the second to October the fourteenth. It's all Raw and SmackDown episodes. Same with this. All Raw episodes and the pay-per-views. They're bootlegs. I can't sell them, unfortunately. But uh, well done to whoever uh, made these up. But I can't sell these ones. These are no good to me. Now, as you saw on the video, there was a heap of these Asian anime uh, box sets. Uh, because I have seen this one before, um, Lane, uh, the Serial Experiments Lane. Ugh. This one I've sold for $45 before. So they wanted $8 for this one. There was other ones for $15, $16, $12 and all that. He put them all up. He said $75 for the six box sets. I said, what's the best you can do? He did me $55 for the six. So this one, every day of the week, $40, $45. Uh, this Helsing box set, unfortunately, uh, only worth 30 bucks, only worth $30. But you gotta take these risks, you have to take these risks, cause wait to the end, there's a fucking Perla box set in here. Orphan, The Perfect Collection. Uh, this is the first series. Unfortunately, I can only get 35 bucks for this box set. It is what it is. Orphan Series 2. Once again, I can only get 35 bucks for this box set. I really thought I was gonna get more for all these, but uh, I didn't, but wait to the last one, wait to the last one. Second last one, Nor or Nior, whatever you fucking pronounce that. Uh, this one was surprised to me because it goes between 50 to $70. I'm putting 70 in the kitty. I'm gonna wait for everyone else to sell theirs and then I'm gonna sell my one for 70 bucks, so. But the last one I was so happy with once I saw the, uh, once I saw the comps on this one, I got pinged. Uh, this one, Neon Genesis, uh, the perfect collection. <sighs> Guys, this is selling. Sold, complete comps. This box set, 
has been going for 200 to 250 dollars. 200 bucks I'll get for this. I'll make sure I get $200. I'll undercut everyone else that is on there to get my money back straight away. Uh, I'm stoked with this one and um, the markets ended up being good. I really wanted to find toys, but 200 bucks for this. Oh. everything adds up yes I paid I paid 55 for these and ten dollars for all those other ones and those other ones will add up as well which I told you this all adds up as well this is the main the main the main main one right here so look out for this uh, but don't sell it until I've sold mine all right and don't undercut me if you find it all right kitty come on we got up very early for <laughs> we got up so I was so fucking angry I was so angry that that first freaking markets, I didn't get anything. I was so fucking angry. I actually wasn't gonna go here. I wasn't gonna go to these markets, but I had to I had to pick up something. I couldn't get up that early and not get anything. I was fucking furious, but I didn't want to show it. Bring up the kitty, bring it up. Come on, kitty. We got up very early in the morning. It was 5.30 in the morning. We started driving to the markets. We spent 50, no, we spent, what we spent? We spent $65, kitty. $65, uh, once everything sells, once everything sells here and all the other stuff as well, 150 bucks worth of bread and butter shit, uh, all this stuff's gonna add up, $70 one, $200 one. How much kitty? $565, $565. I didn't go to the thrift stores this weekend, I went to the markets instead, and thank God I did. Fuck off, kitty. Fuck off, because I'm still angry. Getting up fucking early. Uh, I was very angry because I thought I was going to get nothing all weekend because I skipped the Saturday thrift stores to do the markets instead and I was pretty uh, <laughs> I was pretty angry but look it all works out in the end one little thrift and you can uh, get some um, good coin so look out for this one don't sell it until I've sold mine alright guys you know the thing if you got up to this point of the video just thumbs up for me please thumbs up it helps the algorithm like yeah share bell icon, all this stuff everywhere. I'm going now, I'm tired. See you.